I was just in shock. I couldn't believe that that would be, of all things, the business leader of the year. That, that, that seemed like a, a Twilight Zone-ish uh, choice. The Penticton Chamber of Commerce turned a few heads with its decision for Business Leader of the Year. They chose none other than the owner of Bad Tattoo, Lee Aguirre. He made headlines a few months ago by refusing to comply with the new vaccine passports. He relented a few weeks later. But the decision to make him Business Leader of the Year has some people asking questions. I was surprised. I was surprised. Well, I don't think he should be selected as business leader of the year because, you know, common sense tells you that vaccines are the only way to defeat COVID. And we have to have people setting an example. We talked to people on the streets of Penticton, and at least some of them believe the chamber got it right. Uh, him winning business leader of the year, I can see how I can see how that could happen. You know, he was against the mandates at first and then he kind of caved and went with it. But, you know, it's, it's a good company. He's got good beer there. And he seems, love the pizza, too. Yeah, pe the pizza's good there, too. So I can see how he could win. The Chamber of Commerce uh, declined our invitation for an on-camera interview, but members of the Chamber are talking, including Robin Smuin, who was so fired up about the decision that she wrote a letter to the editor to express her dismay. For somebody who essentially just said, yeah, no, I'm not doing this, I don't believe in this, F you, and to get an award of Business Leader of the Year when all these other businesses have worked so hard to follow the mandates and keep people safe and, you know, care about their employees and the community. It just, yeah, I don't even know. It's bizarre. The Chamber issued a news release this afternoon explaining that the decision was made after an exhaustive selection process and that Lee Auger was chosen prior to this public health order even coming out. The Chamber then offered the committee the opportunity to change their decision and they decided not to, arguing that it would be uncompassionate given that he had changed his mind on the subject. What kind of a message is that sending to, to the community, to other business members, to, to people who want to come here? Maybe they want to move here, maybe they want a vacation here. What does that say about us? It kind of speaks collectively for everyone when that's not what everyone thinks at all.